Hello everyone and welcome back to Spyro Year of the Dragon, another graph, and we're gonna fight the boss. Yes, said so boss, we're going to Evening Lake. You probably see the trend already. I think I mentioned in one of the first episodes that it's going to get darker and darker in the world and so. Yes, this boss is fun times. It's honestly the hardest boss in the game. I guess. would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight. Yes, this is probably the hardest boss in the game. This boss of lightning he throws, he shoots actually. They are kind of homing, and I might as well restart now. And the best way I think to dodge this guy is to just charge. I suppose you can jump. Yeah, see, no, no way I could do this without sparks right on the first phase. Well. This is one of his attacks he comes to smash you, but his main attack is really on his first face is shooting at you. Which is really hard to avoid. And be careful not to hit the rock too close to him. Or else you end up hitting yourself. And if you can line up, there you go. He'll do that three times. And then he'll stop. Now this phase is a little more difficult. You get this crystals here that you have to get, and if he gets the crystals, he'll make. Ah, uh, God, that was close. He'll make the. You make that wave of lava there. And there are... Also be careful for the fire geysers. Now I have to be extra careful because I have no life. Oh, he got it. Be careful. Yeah, if he gets you, you're just screwed. It's horrible. Oh, that probably starts a, a scene. Since you guys just saw everything he does in the game, really, in this fight. I guess I could start skipping to when I start hating him. Or I could talk a bit about strategies. Always make sure that he's not going to shoot when you're going to hit the rock, because since you have to hit the rock facing him, Did I not get hit there? You can you you'll be facing his ball of lightning. Also here, do take your time. This is probably the phase I I'm most familiar with because it's the easiest phase he has. Now this phase as you probably seen, it's kind of hard. You should take your time, but if he grabs the gem, you have to run really fast as until he runs out. When he runs out, you see that. He stands for a while and kind of give you time to hit him. My! Yes, we did it! Uh, that wasn't so hard. But yeah, the, the strategy really is be patient. This is probably the hardest boss in the game. ADD match? <laughs> the hardest boss in the game. So, be patient with him. Mostly pay attention not to get hit. Focus more on not getting hit than actually hitting the boss. That you grab the gems when you can, 
Don't try to rush for gems all the time. That's a common mistake you can make in that fight. I always do that, actually. Whoa, and here comes Bianca again. Listen to me, dragon. I have a name. Spyro. Thank you. This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... What? Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Right. Just take Hunter and go back home before... They're before... my family. I can't say it. Just go. For sh what? What? If you can't say it, then I'm not going to... Uh, uh, actually, I am going to go, because we have to do Sparks World now. Work should be quick. I want to talk to you guys while we go there. It's the, I played Torchlight, or I screwed up a bunch of characters. I always do that in games like Spyro and... Uh, games like Spyro, games like Torchlight and... Like action RPGs, I always do that. Uh, I always screw up the characters. I That engineer you saw me playing is already gone, for example. Because I screwed up the stat placement. But it's a fun game. I've, I've been playing it a lot Hi, lately. Spyro and Sparks. I found another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town. And I actually got to play Borderlands 2, and it's actually tons of fun. I'm at. I've actually spent the night uh, playing that game, and I should sleep, but I got recorded. Later on, I have singing class. Yeah, I can actually go to sleep right now. Now this, here, be careful with this, guys. Just man maintain your distance. And be sure to grab the power-up. The boss in this level is really annoying. And having this power-up will help wonders. So be careful not to grab others. I, I, am, I, f I do believe there is a rocket power-up later on in the level. That we gotta take care of. And I should really start lowering the volume on this before I start. I feel like I'm screaming, I'm sorry if I am. It probably won't come out in the recording because I'll I'll edit the audio levels. But still. This one you can get. That one is the invincibility power up. The white one. And it makes this so much easier. I I prefer to just rush through the level and destroy everything I can until here, as you can see, it runs out just about the exact time. So we just have. I think it's the better way. It's faster. We save some we say my voice cracked. We save some time. It's always fun. And we can We are going up there now. Yes, I forgot about this guy. Okay. It wasn't so bad, I just got hit once. I'll just eat this butterfly and restore my health to the max. Now that will break the force field right here. If you saw that pot of flowers there, it will break. That was protected by a force field. It's not anymore because we stepped on. We flew over the button. We we can't really step on things, I guess. Here, don't forget about the peanut butter and gems in this. If you rush like I do, I tend to forget those most of the time. So we continue forth. I don't wanna grab that because I don't remember what it does. Which is always fun. Always fantastic. Now I'm gonna rush this. After a while it stops spewing the little spiders. So you can completely ignore that for now. And it's the best way 
Just rush until you can. Oh god damn it. I got hit twice, I think. Okay, one more hit and I'm dead. And I'm dead. Crap! Well, it's not that much of a hassle, except that now we have to do this again. It didn't set us that far, but... I should have done this. But I still didn't work because of those... I really hate this level. Like, this is... This probably has the most annoying boss of every Sparks level and the most annoying enemies because the spiders are really fast and really annoying. Well, if we angle ourselves just right here, yes, we should be able to kill that. And now we get our vengeance on the those stupid spiders and I lost the power up. This is just going insanely great. Great. It's going great. Maybe we can find another power up on the way, I guess. But I doubt it. I, I don't think we do. Get back. Get back, demon! I think this is the only power up we can manage. Which is not really the optimal one. The, we can make short work of the boss with the rapid fire power up, but with this, uh, I, I really, really dislike this level. It's really annoying. So let's. Since I really, really dislike this level, alright, I gotta talk about the boss, I guess. You can't damage him while he's spinning like a, a crazy person. So, keep that in mind. I think the best way is just to follow him like this. Oh crap, I, I really hate this level, my god. Just... So basically, you can damage him while he's spinning. So don't even try. Be careful for his spiders and just keep following him. He'll follow an apparent around the around the map. I'm gonna go down here for now. As you can see. It's not really as hard as I make it out to be, but I really really dislike this part world in particular. Oh crap. And we killed it finally. So I wanted to talk about Borderlands a while because I've, I've been playing. I've been playing it a lot. I was playing it just about until a few minutes ago. And it's a lot of fun. I've played every class except for Axton. Every class except that for Axton. And we finished the level. And they're pretty fun. I, I think my favorite class so far is the it's Maya, the Siren, because she's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, I like playing support class, and I'm playing with friends with her, so. Excellent cool. work, Sparks. And I see that you've gained another new ability. Now, if you hold yes. down the L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons at the same time, Sparks will point to any treasure still hanging around. Yeah, so basically, if we had any gems still here, and we pressed all of the shoulder buttons at the same time, Spark would point to the direction of the item. But since we don't, it doesn't do jack, and, we, and I'll probably won't use it because it's not really that useful. The, there are no gems which are extremely impossible to find. And it reminds me a lot of Glover. Glover had a, a feature like that. Sorry for that guys, I, I had to do a little pause there, but the next episode we'll be doing this hub. Evening something something, I already forgot. 
It happens. Anyway, I also would like to welcome Mr. Thomas91. And if I don't know if I already welcomed you or not, but Mr. Matt Debate, I, I do, I do slightly re mind re record having mentioned him. But if I didn't, there it is. If I did, well, whatever. You can mention again. So guys, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.